So hi guys, my name is Kira and I'm a keeper here at Bill Wildlife Park and one of the animals I have a privilege of working with is the Asian short clawed otters. This species is actually monogamous which means they mate for life so a bit like swans, Rupert and Matilda will always mate with each other, as long as they're with each other that is. And these guys are actually the smallest species of otter that you'll find out of 13 species in total. So of course in the UK we have the European otter and their scientific name is Lantra Lantra whereas the Asian short clawed otter's scientific name or Latin name is actually Anorix cenarius. We have Rupert who is four years old and we identify him by the blonde patch on the back of his head. Then we have Matilda who is five years old and overall her coat colour is just a little bit darker, she almost looks like a, a dark chocolate brown compared to Rupert and when they're stood side by side you can see a bit of a difference. And then The otter pup seems to be following in mum's footsteps where he just seems to be a bit mischievous, he's always got that look on his face. So although Rupert seems to do the more caring aspects of looking after him, making sure he's getting fed, making sure he's in bed, Matilda seems to be doing the more important lessons in life, so teaching him to swim, playing with him, teaching him to hunt, things like that. These guys actually need to eat 20% of their body weight a day. So if you picture people actually eating 20% of our overall body weight, that is a lot of food. This is due to the fact that they have a very high metabolic rate or metabolism. The Asian short clawed otters actually have very strong muscles around their jaw. Now this is designed to help crack open crabs. However, it has been proven that in the wild, once they've caught and killed the crab, they'll leave it out in the sun to dry out and crack itself. And then they don't have to waste the energy of cracking it open themselves. In the wild, this species is actually classed as vulnerable, which means their population is declining. Now, there's a few factors that implement this. However, the biggest problem is habitat loss caused by logging or the exotic or legal pet trade. These guys tend to be active throughout most of the day, however they tend to prefer it when it's a bit warmer and a bit sunny. But if you are planning on visiting, I tend to recommend coming down here at 2 o'clock where myself or another keeper will be doing a keeper talk or feed where we'll be trying to encourage them out, feeding them and telling you a little bit more about the species.